at your forecast. And you can just stay right here at home because the sun's going to come back outside. We can't wait for that. This afternoon, okay? Getting you outside right now, I'm seeing a, the radar pick up on a little bit of light rain. Rodney and I were just talking about this. We're not sure it's actually reaching the surface because there's pretty dry air at the surface. So you may be seeing just some light drizzle out there, but this drizzle essentially is going to end here pretty soon. Here's a live look from Centennial Olympic Park. This is the way all of our cameras look. It is a cloudy start this morning. Those clouds will start to burn off here by the time you eat lunch and that will give way to a really nice afternoon. So if you step out, and you feel a few raindrops, you really don't need the umbrella. We're not going to see rain at all this afternoon. By 2 p.m. it's 81 degrees and we will spend the afternoon once again in the 80s. Nice southerly breeze picks up this afternoon. It's going to feel great outside. We'll end the day with partly cloudy skies and temperatures about 10 degrees above average. Even though we're starting the morning with clouds with the sunshine this afternoon, we climb into well into the 80s. Clouds increase again overnight. It stays really mild tomorrow morning when you step out the door. You essentially won't even need a jacket. We'll be in the 60s. Now, most of the rain tomorrow will be up to our north, but we are seeing the potential for some showers to drop down into Georgia tomorrow afternoon around the time the kids get out from Rome to LJ up into the mountains. Certainly some widespread rain can't rule out a few rumbles of thunder, and a few of these showers will even make their way down into Atlanta, even inside the perimeter tomorrow evening. That will impact temperatures. You can see, look, tomorrow evening the mountains are in the 50s. So if you live north of the city, just be aware as you're driving home from work and for your dinner plans, you are going to see scattered rain. Certainly nothing severe, but can't rule out a few rumbles of thunder. Areas south of the city stay dry, cloudy with temperatures in the 80s. So a little bit of rain tomorrow, one dry day on Thursday. Then we enter into a wetter pattern for the weekend. I can tell you right now, our confidence on this weekend forecast is low because the models are not lining up with what is actually going to happen. Here's the thing. Friday looks like we'll see Body kind of summer like thunderstorms through the entire day, about a 40% chance of rain. Cold front comes in on Saturday. Right now, Saturday actually looks mainly dry. That front moves south of us on Sunday, but a wave of rain surges back in on Sunday. So I know it's only Tuesday, but I'm going to go ahead and give you the weekend plans and the weekend forecast because there's a lot going on right now. Still looks like temperatures will be in the upper 70s on Saturday. Just a few showers, not a reason to cancel your plans on Saturday, but certainly want to stay tuned to the forecast because rain chances could increase on Saturday. Right now we have a first alert weather day for Sunday. A lot cooler air starts sinking in by Sunday. Temperatures struggle to make it out of the 60s and rain is very likely in the afternoon and evening. Once again, this could change. So start to monitor the weekend forecast. But if you have outdoor plans on Sunday, I would start thinking about Hmm, what could I do to transfer those plans indoors if this forecast holds and ends up being pretty rainy? We'll stay in the 80s through the end of the week. If you like the way it feels outside right now, enjoy this week because once that front comes through this weekend, it gets a lot cooler. In fact, our highs will only be in the 60s and low 70s as we head through next week. Ella, thanks.